Okay, here we're going to show you uh, a PCP, which is a precharged uh, pump or precharged pressure uh, rifle, air rifle, um, compressor, air compressor. <clears throat> and I'm going to leave links for all this stuff down in the description, of course, and you can check it out yourself and see what the prices are. I think that this particular one. I think I got it for around $300. Yeah, no, it's a little bit expensive, but you know what? This thing is rated to go up to, I think, 4,500 pounds per square inch or PSI. You're not going to be able to charge up one of these PCP air, air rifles using a regular household or a shop air compressor. It's not going to work. Absolutely not. It's just not, they're not designed for it. They're not designed to hold that much pressure. Okay, this is a pretty nice little kit. It comes with the compressor. I have Fossner type hose. Very simple to use. It's got a little plug. It plugs into the uh, other end of the, of the fitting. This is how you can check everything. Okay, this thing has got power going to it. This is the uh, <clears throat> inverter takes a 120 volt converts it to 12 and of course the 12 volt leads are hooked up into the air compressor you can also run this off of a car battery if you do that I would leave your engine run while you're, while you're running this compressor just to make sure that you can uh, you're not going to get it stuck out in the middle of nowhere because the battery's dead <laughs> and of course the red the red Blue, blue over here, you would disconnect this, hook these up instead, hook this up to your car battery, and you can charge your, uh, your air rifle while you're out camping or whatever have you. If you're going to use a hand pump to pump up your air, your air rifle, you're not going to like using it because it's, uh, it's very difficult to pump. A child is not going to be able to pump it up, put air into the air gun using a hand pump. There's not going to, it takes about 200 pounds of weight, which is a full grown man's weight, in order to pump this thing up to 200 bar, which is around 28, 2900 pounds per square inch. So, with that said, invest a little money, learn how to use it. I've mounted mine on the board. It's all tied down, and then I can just take and put Put these little handles over here. Pick the whole thing up in one unit and set it in one of my buckets. And I have this bucket over here. It's got latches on the side so it locks the lid down. It's water, water tight as far as uh, getting a uh, splash. Rain, uh, rain or something that might splash on the top. It's not going to get inside of it. Okay. So, this little kit comes with a uh, little care compressor, comes with the kit. It's got some uh, air filters, which are basically uh, condensate filters. Kind of looks like a cigarette filter, but don't use a cigarette filter. Use the little filters that come with it. And you can always pick these up. They're real, real cheap if you need more. Now, those little filters, and it has some O-rings, common O-rings that are going to wear out in their normal normal use of the, of the compressor okay this is a uh, Fossner type fitting of course and also comes with a pill probe probe which works on uh, most of your hot sun uh, model air, air rifles and some others okay I have for an example I have a uh, Benjamin Marauder, Marauder in 25 caliber. All it needs is the Fossner fitting. If it's, it's got a, nick, a little nail nipple on the end of the air gun on the uh, fill tube, it just plugs right on in, just like that. You don't need the fill probe, but it comes with one. We're going to plug this in and show you how to operate this thing. Like again, like I said, this is, well, that's the wrong one. Okay, I got to have to. Uh, well, I gotta go get the other one. Alright, now let's see what we got. That's a plug. 
This is not a plug. This is a tube fitting. For whatever reason. I'm not sure why that's even there. But here's a plug. That way you can test the pressure when you get your air compressor. Go ahead and set it up. You can see I've got mine wired over here if you need a reference. Okay. Very simple to wire up. I put some little fake connectors on the end of mine. Just to make it more convenient for myself. Okay. Here we go. We're going to pump this up. See, I've got the little plug in here. I'm going to run up to, uh, you know, up into the yellow area here. First thing you do with these compressors is you turn the fan on, then let it let it run about 30 seconds with the fan on. Make sure the fan's going to come on because the fan's not going to come on. These things are going to get hot real, real quick and they're going to burn out. Make sure the fan comes on, then you turn the compressor on. Okay. You want to close your air release valve. You close that. Yeah, I'm just going to build it up to the yellow. Probably can't see the needle on top. Probably can't see the needle. It's going to run it to the yellow. And I'll show you that. That's good enough. Just let it sit there for a minute for a few seconds. And see if it holds the pressure. Looks like it is. Okay, now what you'll do. With that off, you can use the fan off a little bit if you want is open up the air release valve that'll release some water too it's normal open it up and leave it open and you get the fan on very simple and then once again when you're ready to fill up your air rifle using the compressor close the air release valve okay plug it in my gun takes the fastener or the uh, fill, fill probe. So we'll take out the little plug and put connect up the fill probe. And that would normally go underneath the gun. You just push it in there. Very simple. Close that. Turn the fan on. And when you're ready to go, turn it on. Let it run. Shut it off, and before you unplug it from the gun, release the air and the water from the line. If you don't do it that way, it's a possibility that if you just unplug it, the hose is going to whip around and hit you in the eye. <laughs> or hit you in the, in the top of the forehead hard and it's not <laughs> knock you out. You don't want to do that. It makes it look, it makes it look dumb. Okay, we're going to close that. Now, I used to use uh, a, a hand pump to pump up my PCP air rifle. Okay? However, I am over 65 years old, which means I'm no longer a young man like I used to be. And pumping up and down about 100 times with 200 pounds of force is not exactly my idea of a fun day in the park. So, I bought the air compressor. Works fantastically. Now, I'm going to leave a link to this. Too. This is an extension hose. If you find you need it for some reason, like if you're going to put this on the ground or whatever have you, you're probably going to need an extension hose because you know, you're going to want to fill up your gun while it's sitting on something. A table or a crate, hood of a car, something. Okay? So that just plugs in, and once again, you got the same kind of fitting in here. Okay, yeah. there's your fill probe. Unplug it. It's great. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm fixing to uh, load this stuff back up in my bucket. We'll go over a little bit more on this stuff as time goes on, but for now, that's the kind of gets you going. Once again, you can try to take note of how I have this thing wired. If you get this same compressor. Okay, if you get something a little different, just read the instructions. <laughs> These are pretty much in Chinese instructions, so they're pretty much useless. 
I happen to know about electrical wiring, so this was a no-brainer for me. Okay? So just read the directions or go on some forums and, and find out if they have a form for your exact compressor that you bought and uh, ask questions in the forum. People are generally pretty friendly and courteous in those things, so uh, with that in mind, we're going to stop this video. Okay, we're getting ready to put the compressor back in the uh, box. I'll show you how I got this back out. Pretty slick, pretty simple, straightforward. I even got it from ropes. It goes through the corners of this board, tie it off to behind it, and I uh, just took a couple pieces of PVC pipe. I think it's a half inch pipe. And uh, ran the, ran the uh, rope through it before I tied it off the other end. And uh, I just pick it up. Make sure I got all my put my beads and all that stuff on on the top of it so it doesn't get pinched underneath the underneath the compressor. In other words, it's not going to lay on top of them. So I get that organized. Just get it up on top of there. There you go. Okay. And pick it up. Nothing to it. You can feed me. Put it in the top. Put my little bag of extras in here. Throw the lid on top of it and lock it down. Keeps everything nice and dry, no dust, no sawdust. I do a lot of work out here downstairs. And uh, I do get sawdust because I saw wood. So I need to get some sawdust. So on wood is you get sawdust. So we're going to close this down for the night.